Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to be briefly discussing about the law of conservation of energy. So in our physics series, we know that energy transforms from kinetic energy to potential energy and vice versa. But energy can be conserved in multiple ways. And but the total energy in a system of question always stays the same. That is called the law of conservation of energy. Meaning, what this basically means is that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can only be transformed. And a good example of this is, say, uh, an object falling from a certain height. So suppose I take this book and I'm having it at a certain height from the ground. It's about one meter and I release it, it falls to the ground. Now, as I'm holding it, it has high gravitational potential energy because its height is at its maximum, which is one meter. But it, is, it has zero kinetic energy because it's not moving, am I right? Now, if I release it, as it's going down, its height is decreasing. That means its gravitational potential energy is also decreasing. And this continues until it reaches the ground. Uh, say my hand is the ground now. So in, as it reaches the ground, its gravitational potential energy reaches zero. And all the energy at this instant is its kinetic energy. Now here we have a clock with a pendulum. And when the claw or when the pendulum reaches its maximum height, where, you know, it stops and moves to the other side, that's when it has maximum gravitational potential energy. And when it reaches at its very bottom, which is, uh, which is in the same line as the 12 and 6 markings, then um, the gravitational potential energy is at its lowest because at that point in time, uh, the height is at also at its lowest. This also means that the kinetic energy is the lowest at the two end points and is the highest at the midpoint. But energy doesn't just go from kinetic energy to potential energy. There are multiple other types of energy by which energy is transferred through. For example, chemical energy to kinetic energy. And a great example of that is car engines, which is one of the topics which I'll be discussing in a future video. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you're up to date with what I upload. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like the video and comment down below if you have any uh, remarks you would like to make. Maybe I missed out on something or there could be a better example or anything you would like to say. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.